All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So today's the day. Today's the day that I talk about the Redmi Note 9. Now, a lot of you guys have asked, Jay, if I have the option of the 9S, why would I grab the Note 9? Well, that's a very good question. So I'll try to explain my logic behind this the best I can. So having this phone now for definitely over a week, it's, um, I, I too came to the decision of why, uh, why would I get this over the 9S? There's some things about this phone that I do like, uh, and there's some things that I, you know, that are not my favorite. Uh, but all in all, um, I think this is a very nice device and I think it'll please lots of people. Uh, so, you know, starting with the, the, phone itself you get the design here you get this nice beautiful display 6.53 inches which is a very nice size display for today's market and you don't pay more than 200 bucks this phone costs 175 dollars or less in most cases so you get a nice big display for a very affordable price and the display is 1080 by 2340 so you got a 19 by 5 by 9 uh aspect ratio and that's 395 pixels for the people out there that want to know that so um while i'm talking about the display let's see if i got got something loaded up here i want you to see the quality of the display uh so you know even looking at this ad you can kind of tell what the display could possibly be like but this display has that camera in the side over there uh, and on the bottom corner, and it's going to be one of those things where either you like that or you don't. And this is the type of quality that you could possibly get. Now, over video, I know it's very difficult to possibly see if this is good quality or not. But I can assure you that good quality is going to come down to what the person recorded with, you know, and, and things like that. But overall, this display is going to please. And that's the point of that. So big display, 1080p, good enough by today's standards, price 175 or less. So the build quality on here is something that a lot of people probably don't care about, which is the plastic body. Uh, so you got a plastic frame, but you got a glass front. So basically this is glass and then the, the whole, this is a unibody style too, folks. I think this is very nice how they actually pulled this off because you know the, the 9S, is not a unibody style and it feels way more premium uh, but this is just a full plastic body and they shaded the plastic along the edges to make it look like it's more than one piece but it's actually just one piece uh, and i think that's a very cool thing to do let's get this cleaned off a little bit because these fingerprints will annoy most people some people say oh my gosh my ocd kicked in it's funny when i hear people saying that watching videos but um this, in fact, is hard to keep clean. That's the best I can do for this video. It's a pretty cool looking color, but the body has uh, got a plastic frame. And, and like I said, basically all of this is plastic. This is plastic. But you do get an IR blast, so you got a microphone up top, type, uh, type C speaker, headphone jack, and a microphone at the bottom. Then you have SIM tray over here, then power and uh, volume on that side and then you have this uh four camera setup on the back here with a fingerprint reader right below and i think that's pretty cool that they kind of hid the fingerprint reader you really wouldn't know that that's a fingerprint reader if, at first glance but as you can see it's a very fast fingerprint reader and you know it works good but the body of this phone not the biggest fan of it because they did do like a one piece plastic setup and it just feels not cheap but lower quality than than some cell phones from xiaomi that i've held in the past example the redmi note 9s uh so yeah the body is is good enough for everyone though just that when you start to get into some types of quality on hardware you expect a certain uh thing from a company so the rear camera setup though is a 48 megapixel 1.8 aperture uh, and then you've got an ultra wide 8 megapixel and then you've got a macro sensor at uh, 2 megapixels and then you have a depth sensor uh, at 2 megapixels. The front camera is a 13 megapixel and you know, the cameras to me are good at best. Um, they're good at best and you know that's not bad it's just that they're not obviously the greatest. So 
take that for what it's worth, but some of you guys are going to say that these cameras are great, which I think they, okay, here's the thing. I think they're great. They're just not better than some other phones that I have that are in the same price range. Fair enough? Fair enough. So um, you've got Android 10 with MIUI 11, and I'm pretty sure the software on here should should please uh, tons of people. you got this same style here, uh, but if you wanted to change this, you know, you can put your favorite launcher on there. Uh, oh, got to update some updates or whatever that is. Oh, it's this app updater. Uh, but um, you could go into your apps. You can put on your favorite launcher. You go to manage apps and then you click on the three dots and default. And then you go to launcher and then you, this is where you would change your launcher to. Like you would download whatever launcher you want. That is how uh, you would uh, change the launcher. And if you go here, you can see there's a light mode. And the light mode kind of turns off everything. So let's do it. This is going to not water things down, but give you less on your display. Uh, and then, you know, this is, <laughs> this is how it's going to be. You know, you, you'll get better battery like this by having less things like this. Uh, and this is how it looks. Everything is kind of like jumbo sized, but this is where we are. So let's change this back to the regular mode. And get back to the norm. The processor in here is the G85. And the, the, the G85 is the MediaTek Helio G85. Now, the a lot of people are questioning whether or not it's, it's a worthy contender um, because of this device right here. Now this is a powerhouse, man. This is, this has the Helio G90T. Now both of these are gaming processors. However, this phone is a much better value, much better phone overall, and it costs about $80 more. Uh, however, the processor inside, the G85 is labeled as the, um, gaming processor, and, and the G90T is labeled as a gaming processor, but some people question this processor and whether or not it's good enough. And, you know, I say that, you know, for day-to-day -day tasks, some people, you won't even know the difference. You will not know the difference. It's, it's going to be able to perform all of your daily tasks just as you like it with no problems. You might notice a little lag or stutter in this particular application, but most people... Let's be fair here. Most people don't scroll through their tone timeline looking for lag when they're on their cell phone. They just might notice it like, gosh, come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. You know, they they're you know, they want to get the task done. This phone can get the task done. Yes, it's not the, the most powerful processor. It is a 12 nanometer chip, uh, but it is an octa-core. So you determine whether you want to fight over this is a solid processor or not. I've already gamed on it and it flows along just fine. I tested the games. And I decided that this processor gets a pass because the phone is so cheap and it technically is a gaming processor from MediaTek. Now, you get two memory options on here, which is 3, three gig, 64 gig, and then 4 gig, 128. But you also get an SD card slot. So, you know, Bluetooth 5.0, if I didn't mention that, uh, th this doesn't have any kind of NFC or anything like that, which is unfortunate. Uh, but, you know, it's unlocked for all GSM providers but you cannot use this on Verizon or Boost or Sprint, any kind of CDMA network. So, you know, honestly, would I purchase this over the 9S? Probably not. The 9S, you know, has a little bit bigger screen. Um, you know, it's, uh, the hardware is better. The cameras appear to be better. So the question remains, should you buy this phone over the 9S? I say no. The 9S to me, is the better phone of the two. However, this is gonna come down to personal preference. You're getting the same software. You technically kind of get the same performance. The cameras, questionable. They look exactly alike on the back, but the phone itself is more premium on the 9S. And the Note 9 just feels like the baby brother. I mean, this, this is a hard question to answer because I genuinely like the Note 9. 
There's nothing wrong with it. But my question would be for Xiaomi, why the 9S price so close to, and I guess that's going to boil down to the who's selling it and who's not, but the price is too close. If this phone was 149 then yeah, because this, this 9S sells for almost 200 or more in a lot of places. So, um, you know, the 149 price tag would be perfect for me, but I know companies have to remain profitable and I know that's just how the game works. So overall, this is nowhere near a bad phone at all. It's not, some people say, oh, you're not going to like it. You know, it's not as good as this other phone. And I'm thinking, all right, well, I'll, I'll see about that. And I actually do like it because I like Xiaomi devices. And there's absolutely nothing I could pick out about this phone other than the hardware that I really didn't like. I don't like this full plastic build that they have going on. Uh, but other than that, you know, between the two, I'd choose the, the 9S for sure. And just pay that. If these were 195 and 175 I'm going with the 9S. It's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed, which they are. That's the current pricing, I believe. <laughs> Hit the link in the description. You'll see the pricing for this uh, through Wireless Place. Shout out to Wireless Place once again for providing this unit. I appreciate it. Uh, but I still would go with the, the 9S in the end. But this is a good phone. And for those that don't have 200 bucks, here you are.